everyone. So um, my second bag has arrived. I am going to paint this one pink. I'm going to do just try to condense it all into one video because I did tutorials on the other one. So I'm just going to give you guys little snippets of the process of this one. I'll be coming in and out of the video. So this one um, is actually in worse condition, but I ended up paying more for it because um, the USD conversion and um, I got dinged customs. So this ended up costing me $440 versus the um, $200 that I spent on the last one. But on this one, the handles are good. Like there's no problems with the handle. The interior looks good. Like the interior looks good. I also got a lock on this one as well. Um, I highly doubt that I'll end up looking for a key, but I did want to show you how big this tear was. Like you can actually stick your finger through it. Like it's really bad. Um, so I think for this one, I'm going to end up painting it as well, just because I believe this is going to require a lot of glue. And um, I don't think that the paint will cover the glue well, so paint will cover the glue better. So one corner, two corner, small, don't think that would require too much glue third corner is just faded but no hole fourth corner also faded but no hole so it's just one really big hole that you can stick your hand through and then one that would probably be easier to repair and the base is good handles are good shape is good no cracks on the canvas this one's going to require a lot of glue i can tell because the, what i do is i adhere the glue to the lining but now that i can stick my hand through it i don't know um, how much i can adhere and how much glue i can use before it seeps through so this is going to be another um tester and then uh, we'll see how the pink comes out. So I'm gonna start on the glue process and come back to you guys and show you guys how the glue turned out. All right? again, I'm gonna be using the Eileen's glue. The Eileen's leather and suede glue. If you haven't watched my previous video on um, the details on how I did it, just go back to my previous videos so this will be another project and custom color blah, blah, blah. catch you guys in a bit hi everyone so i'm back from the glue job um as i predicted that corner was very hard to glue but it did adhere it looks very ugly i had nothing to clamp it and it took so long to attach because that whole area was so open it did adhere to the lining but um, I had to hold it with my own hands because really there was no clamp available and nothing that would hold that corner so um, my hands kept sticking and the glue kept peeling away the glue and it looks quite ugly so yeah but I'm just happy that it adhered and I probably will have to sand it down because of the glue and I'd have to go over it again with the top coat of glue anyways so yeah I just wanted to show you guys the result of the gluing of that large um, rip so cheers okay around so now I'm back um, the glue has completely dried and what I did was I went around the edges with a little bit of sandpaper to smooth it out 
actually looks really good. Um, the glue has not covered all the fine line details of the bag. So I'm quite happy with that. So now I'm going to prep for painting. And I'm just going to use regular nail polish remover. In this case, I'm using Sally Hansen's and it's extra strength. And I'm just going to go over it with a cotton pad to prep the paint area. Now, I don't have any pink paint, so I'm going to be mixing my own color. I'm going to be using this uh, Angelus Scarlet Red and Lot White. So I'm just going to mix these two together to get a paint color. And I'm just going to go ahead and start painting, and I will update you guys in the middle. Sure. Hey guys, so I am back. Um, I've done my first coat of paint. Um, I'm quite happy because I didn't have to use any glue, so there's absolutely no tackiness at all. So I'm very happy with that. Um, this is the first layer. That doesn't it look good so far. I'm quite happy with that. Um, so basically, because I struggled so much with the last bag, I taped off the metal parts of this just to test out if it would make a difference on um, whether it'd be easier to remove the paint or not. The other side, I, I didn't put any tape on. But even though I put tape on the metal parts of this one, it, I had difficult with the, with the crevices. And still, it was you can't get the tape in there, so you're probably gonna have to deal with um, brass in the crevices again, anyways. But uh, I'm liking how it's turning out so far. I also wanted to remind you guys that when you are mixing your own color, to ensure that you leave in um, you you mix enough paint for the whole project, otherwise you're stuck trying to. Um, mix the color again midway through and you might end up with a different color so yeah i'm gonna finish it i might go with a third coat and a top coat and i'll come back to you guys cheers hey everyone so i'm back again um i did let the i went over it with the top coat and i did three coats of paint I let it dry overnight. Um, I went over the bag with Brasso to clean all the hardware and I wanted to come and show you guys the results. My customized Alma, pink Alma. Isn't it adorable? Um, I did want to mention that um, this time around the tape the paint seeped through i did want to show you guys here see so if you do get paint on it you can probably just use nail polish remover to remove it and over here yeah i got some paint it seeped through there as well um i literally ran out of paint i barely had enough for my third coat and I was scraping off the edges and I managed to finish three coats um, after I used Brasso on the hardware <laughs> I got it on the paint and it chipped off a tiny piece there so now I'm debating on whether I want to go and mix paint again and I'm not even sure if it would match or just leave it and I'm thinking I'm just gonna leave it so yeah, I wanted to show you guys my finished bag. Very adorable, customized Alma. In pink. Um, basically, there's really no stickiness to it and the Louis Vuitton stamp is still very clear on this one. The corners, can't see. 
where the damage was repaired, really. So it turned out very well. I'm very happy with it. I was so worried in the beginning that um, the hole was too big and it, it would look very ugly, but it actually turned out a lot better than the first one because the handles were in such good condition. So yeah. Cheers, guys. Bye.